Do you sometimes feel the need to drop everything, move to the countryside, to the beach or the mountains, and just live a simple life? Do you feel overwhelmed, anxious, tired, and stressed? Well, this is because you've overcomplicated your life to an extent where both your body and mind simply don't want to exist in this kind of reality. So let's fix that. Pick any of these and deploy them in your life today and see what happens. Here are 50 rules for a simple life. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number one, focus on a single task per day. Everything feels like it's urgent, but only a handful of things are important. Do not confuse one with the other. Every day, ask yourself, what is actually important for me to do today? And then do that. In less than one week, your life will begin to sort itself out. Number two, Wake up at the same time every day. If you wake up using an alarm, you're actually doing your body a disservice. Your body tells you you need more sleep, and yes, you artificially cut it short. The thing is, your body will naturally follow its own biological clock if you can wake up at the same time every day for a couple of weeks. The interesting part is that it will self-adjust the time it asks you to go to bed accordingly. Life gets simpler when you wake up at the same time every day. Number three, smile more. Do it right now, okay? It's a cheat code to trick your brain into thinking you're actually happy, and as a result, it does make you slightly happier. The world reflects your own feelings back at you. So smile, and it will smile back. Number four, the best revenge is none at all. Leave it in the past and move on. Seeking revenge takes from you and gives even more of you to the other side. Seeking revenge is like losing twice. Move on, okay? Be happy. Number five, focus on one desire at a time. Life feels complicated because you're told you want a million things at the same time. Remove the noise, okay? Take out the desires that aren't really yours. Find the few that truly matter and pick one. Life rewards clarity. As long as you focus on a single desire and nothing else, you'll be able to alter your reality to make it happen. As a rule of thumb, if you don't have it, it means you don't want it enough. Number six, don't allow the external to affect the internal. Here's a smart way to think about this. Ships don't sink because of the water around them. Ships sink because of the water that gets inside of them. Don't let what's happening around you get inside of you and sink you. Most ships are able to withstand any storm they might find themselves in at sea. And sure, ships are safer in the harbor, but that's not what ships are built for. Explore the sea, Aluxer, and don't let the water get in. Number seven. Remember when you wanted what you currently have. Wake up every morning and realize just how amazing it is to be you. 10 years ago, you wanted what you currently have. How amazing is that? And how foolish is it to not give yourself more praise for what you've done? Your life lacks simplicity because you keep adding desires and not appreciating the ones that you've fulfilled. Number eight. You do not need to know how to bake a cake to eat cake. There are three ways where you end up eating cake. One, you gather all of the ingredients, the tools, and the recipe, and you proceed to bake it yourself. Hard. Two, you work, get money, and you purchase a cake. Medium. Three, you're in the room when someone else cuts their cake. Easy. This metaphor, it isn't really about cake. In the most important situations in life, go with option one. When it comes to the non-essential stuff, go with option two. When it comes to the unexpected, go with option three. Number nine, do not lie, or at least try to tell the truth. Even more important, do not lie to yourself, okay? More often than not, we're the easiest ones to fool. Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. If you want a simple life, stick with the truth. That way you won't have to worry about the lies you told. Number 10, live below your means and life will be good. 
This is by far the most valuable lesson when it comes to living a simpler life. The only way to lose it life is by constantly going beyond what you can afford. Financially, physically, emotionally, and spiritually at the expense of the present. Number 11. You will not be able to escape pain, uncertainty, and constant work. Now that you know that all three will be a part of your life, what kind of work do you want to do for the rest of your life? How will you deal with the uncertainty and pain? Learn to embrace it all as a part of life, and you'll no longer be crushed when things don't go your way. Number 12. Avoid the trap of more. You don't need more, you need just enough. And once you know what enough is, go after it non-stop until you get it. Once you are there, push for another 10% and stop. Remember rule number 10, okay? You can be more successful than someone with a lot of money than you if you do this, because you will have something they will never have. And that is enough. Number 13. Return what you borrow. Give back what was given to you in the same condition you got it. If someone was kind enough to help you, return the help. As humans, we are programmed not to find rest before balance is restored. Number 14. Always be on time and do not make excuses. Pay attention to how time flows and you'll be able to understand its pace. Once you do that, you'll never be late again. Your mind will account for everything. People think less of the unpunctual. Your life will feel more chaotic. It'll always feel rushed. Your partner will be disappointed in you, so will your friends, because they'll think that you don't respect them enough. People who are always late always feel like they're running behind and feel like they give less than 100%. It'll eat away at who you are and eventually it'll all come crumbling down. Number 15. Know when to keep your mouth shut. Once words leave your mouth, they're no longer yours to control. More often than not, shutting up leads to superior outcomes. Words can inflict harm, either onto others or onto yourself. Taste your words before you spit them out and make a decision if you want to proceed or not. Number 16. Know that you are not the voice in your head. You're merely the person witnessing it. The voice in your head likes to talk a bunch. It's a self-absorbed, attention-seeking spirit, and it doesn't have your best interest at heart, at least not most of the time. Being able to separate yourself from the voice in your head is the first step in taking control of your mind, and no one can live a simple life unless they control their mind. People who've downloaded the Alux app often say that this is one of the major benefits they immediately see in their lives, taking back control of their mind and focus. By putting your headphones in and listening to a 10-minute coaching session in the morning, you're retraining your mind to serve you by focusing your efforts on what matters instead of being distracted. It brings you clarity and removes the anxiety of not knowing what to do. If you feel overwhelmed or lost, this is the best investment you'll ever make. Go to alux.com slash app right now and allow our experts to coach you toward a better life. Number 17. Stress, overeating, lack of sleep and exercise is a form of self-harm. The reality is we don't like to think about what we're doing to ourselves as a form of self-harm. You eat junk food because you feel good in the moment, but you don't get to enjoy it because you know what harm it's doing to you. So you blocked it all, but you know that everything you do that does not serve you is a form of self-harm. You're decreasing the quality of your life, you feel worse, you feel pain because of it. And all of these are choices you make knowing damn well the harm that you're doing to yourself. You just never called it that. So stop doing that to yourself, okay? Number 18. The people around multiply what you are. If you want to be happy, spend time with happy people. If you want to be successful, spend time with successful people. If you want to be miserable, well, you know, spend time with miserable people and it'll happen. Number 19. Motivation is temporary, so act on it immediately. 
If motivation does find you, do not let go of it. Allow it to move you in ways you otherwise wouldn't. It'll give you the momentum needed to get started on the things that you've been postponing for a long time. Once motivation goes away, you'll fall back onto the discipline that you've instilled in yourself. Number 20. We do what we plan for the night before. The general rule is, what doesn't get planned doesn't get done. The easiest path to getting something done is to remove all the traction beforehand. Make a plan the day before and start on it immediately after you wake up. You'd be surprised just how quickly you'll be up and running. Number 21. Be intentional with your time and energy and act accordingly. If you don't schedule your time, others will schedule it for you. Just because you aren't actively working doesn't mean that you're available. The body needs time to recharge, grow, contemplate, meditate, relax. Don't mistake busy with productive. 22. If undecided, go for the option that's the most painful in the short term. This way you get to enjoy its benefits for the longer term. Alternatively, flip a coin and pay attention, because in those few moments when the coin is up in the air, deep down you'll know what outcome you truly want. Number 23. Believe that whatever happens, you'll be able to get through it. Optimists outperform everyone else. Like the Navy SEALs put it, we fall to the level of our preparation. In life, the goal is not to hope that nothing bad ever happens. Instead, know that you will be able to handle it no matter what it is. Number 24. The enemy of peace is other people's expectations of you. This is your life. You control it. The more people have a say in it, the more chaos they'll brew for you. A simple life is one where the decisions are simple, and simple decisions lead to peace, for you already know what serves your well-being and what doesn't. Let them deal with their own lives and you deal with yours. If your expectations differ from theirs, well, theirs no longer matter. Number 25. Set boundaries. Tell people no. Tell people to F themselves if you have to. They do not get a say in who you are, what you do, how you spend your time, and what you should be doing. People have this tendency to expect you to give to them by taking away from yourself. They might even get annoyed or angry when you say no, but hey, you need to learn to prioritize yourself. 26. Finish the books you bought before buying new ones. Anything worth starting is worth finishing. Don't jump to the new shiny thing before you maximize the current opportunity. Rewards in life usually lie after the 90% mark, and because most people never get that far, they fall short. Number 27. The media will make it seem like the world is on fire 24-7-365. The media is not your friend, they thrive on your panic, so don't give it that power. Beyond consuming the purely essentials, you'll live a far happier and more peaceful life if you ignore it. Number 28. Don't worry about having a grand purpose. It's okay to just go through life finding interesting things to enjoy. Find wonder in the ordinary, and the extraordinary will reveal itself. If you're meant to have a grand purpose, it will find you. Number 29. The purpose of the struggle is to rid yourself from ever struggling again. The best solution is the one you only have to apply once. The purpose of the game of money is to never have to worry about money again. Figure out health and happiness, and you're golden. Number 30. If you have to say it twice, write it down. We have a pretty simple solution to the mind. If we don't know what to do, we read. Once we know what to do, we do. If the mind keeps going in circles, we write it down. Rule 30 works well with employees. Document it like it'll be used in court against you and you'll never have to worry about training your people again. Number 31. Never work harder than you have to. 
The culture is broken. Working 24-7 until exhaustion isn't a flex, okay? It tells us you don't know what you're doing. Be effective. Be efficient. Be lazy by finding the smart solution. Refer to Rule 29. Fix the problem once and for all so you don't have to deal with it every single time. Number 32. You won't be able to find time. You have to make time. Because your time is already pre-booked. Anything you want to add to your life will require you to dive into what you're already doing and cut things out. If you're brutally honest and track a day in your 24 hours and you'll realize just how much time you waste purely out of not knowing what to do. Number 33. Walk away when they don't change. There's no point in going through the same things over and over again unless you like the outcome. This applies to most everything in life. 34. Other people's emotions are not your responsibility, especially when they end up costing you your own. By coddling them, you're only making them more dependent on you, which inevitably will backfire in the long run. Number 35. Remove poison from your life. Sugar, coffee, alcohol, reality TV, cigarettes, drugs, and deep fried food. We know scientifically that these inputs cause harm to the body, yet we still consume them. If sugar is bad for your body, what do you think social media is doing to your brain? Cut out what doesn't nurture you. Number 36. Bask in having nothing to do. It's a luxury only few get to enjoy. People in the office call it Inbox Zero, but they miss the point since they're still in the office just waiting for a new email to come in so they can solve it. If you find yourself having to do nothing, appreciate the moment because society will be quick to throw things at you out of envy. Number 37. Minimize the amount of things you own. More often than not, the things we own end up owning us. Look around you right now. Literally everything you see used to be money that you chose to exchange for these goods. Sure, having multiple cars is fun until you have to do maintenance on all of them. Same goes with homes, toys, and projects. Everything you own eventually asks for some time from you, and it won't take long before you realize just how important your time is. Remember, things are only valuable when used. Number 38. Invest in a quality-focused wardrobe. Buy wardrobe staples in bulk and in the same color. Don't be cheap. You know the saying, you buy cheap, you buy twice. But it's not the price that's bothering us in this example, it's the time it takes to get to the second one. In order to live a simple life, buy one quality item of everything you need and take care of them. Your perception of reality will change once you begin to wear comfortable, weather-appropriate clothes. No reason to show off your ankles in midwinter. Number 39. Learn to feel what you're doing. Here's what that means. We're sensorial beings, okay? The quality of our lives is dependent on how much of our senses we use in our daily life. If you're eating like a robot, your life will seem robotic. Instead, taste the salt. Feel the pillowy bread in your mouth. Feel the water run down your body in the shower. Feel the sun warm on your face. Feel your heart fill when you hug the person you love. Notice how they smell. Being aware of your senses will show you the true reality of your life. Number 40. Do something nice for a stranger and keep it private. Go out of your way to be nice on the days that you're not feeling well. It's like a life hack for happiness. You will immediately start feeling better. Give things away and do it often. Not only does it help others, but you will declutter your life. Make it a regular thing to go through your closet and give away clothes you're no longer wearing. Number 41. Compliment people often and do it genuinely. Compliments that we receive, they stick with us for longer than just the moment in which they were spoken. To this day, some of you still remember when that girl or boy in primary school said something nice about you. Compliments can dramatically alter someone's mood, and it'll make for much better conversation and more pleasant outcomes. 
Number 42. Accept the things that are outside of your control. If you can change the outcome, do it. If you can't, leave it be and play the game however the cards may fall. As humans, almost half of the things we worry about never come to fruition. That's self-inflicted pain, stress, and worry we don't need to bother with. The other 50% is a part of life and you will default back to rule 23. Number 43. Nothing in life is promised except death. We're all born with the seed of death within us. Remember that you will die, that almost everything you do will be forgotten, and the problems you're facing are insignificant in the grand scheme of things. This will allow you to detach yourself from the faux urgency that society has manufactured around you. Number 44. Fix the little things and life immediately gets better. Pay attention to how you do things more than what things you're doing. It's your choice what you end up focusing on, but the biggest secret in life is that one can fully control their perception of reality by altering their view or perspective on certain things. Number 45. Realize that over 1 billion people would love to trade lives with you right this very moment. Your reality is like a dream life to them, so do not take it for granted. Number 46. Live as if your version of God is real and watching. Look, it doesn't matter if you're religious or not at all. Acting as if somebody is watching and keeping track of who you are as a human being will tilt your reality toward the positive side. May you all get to see your field of reads. Number 47. Be happy alone, be happy together. Learn to be happy by yourself. Learn to be okay with being alone. Learn to like and even love yourself. Once you do, others will follow, and you need to make the most out of both positions. Number 48. Spend time with your parents. The reality is, you won't get that many more Christmases with them. You can actually count them. We like to postpone things because we fall into the trap of what's urgent, only to realize that we may very well lose the important in the process. Number 49. The only way to win is by deciding you've already won. If you watched our last week's Sunday Motivational video on levels of income, you learned about this idea that the only way to really win in life is by deciding wholeheartedly that you've already won. If you don't do that, you'll end up caught up in a perpetual hamster wheel and eventually burn out. And number 50, practice what you learn in these videos and from the books you read. We know that going through videos like these can be quite fun, but that's what separates you, the Aluxer, from everyone else. These are not supposed to be forms of pure entertainment. Instead, these are mental triggers supposed to alter your behavior. Pick one or two of these and apply them immediately. And then when you see the impact they have, add another two or three and so on. Before you know it, it's the little things that turn your life completely around. And since this is such a long list, we're curious to know, which of these do you think is the most impactful? Let us know in the comments. And as a bonus, we're celebrating a full year since we launched the Alux app. For the past year, we've measured and expanded our team of experts in order to perfect the product. If year one was the testing and building things behind the scenes, it's time to bring it all into reality. The app is getting three major upgrades in the next few days and weeks. We are introducing the first smart journal, specifically designed for entrepreneurs and high achievers. It takes less than 10 minutes per day, and it'll act as a second brain where you store the most valuable things you learn. At the end of the year, you'll be able to export it as a personal collection of valuable insights. Next, we are partnering with renowned authors, industry experts, and niched opinion leaders to give you the most actionable masterclasses available for less than 1% of what their seminars would cost. This way, we're democratizing access to high-level education for everyone. 
Both of these are coming later this week. And lastly, our super secret project is almost complete. We've been building something quite unique, a smart learning module that will be able to create unique mentorship paths where we measure its success based on how richer, happier, healthier, wiser, and how much better your relationships are. That's coming next quarter. So get the app Aluxer and together we'll get you to where you want to go. If you made it this far into the video, we want to take this opportunity to thank you. It means a lot to us, the support that you've shown us so far, and we promise we will always be here for you. If you're ready for a simple life, write the word simple in the comments. There's no point in making it more complicated than it needs to be, but let's get you rich first. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Alexer. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey, don't forget to subscribe.